Hey everybody, this is Jim Guzanzio from the Oracle Groundbreakers team in Hyderabad, India, and we are heading into the afternoon sessions here at the uh, Sangam 19 conference, and I'm here with Satyandra. Satyandra, welcome. Thanks, Jim. Welcome to Sangam and welcome to Hyderabad. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's been uh, quite a whirlwind the last uh, few days here. Uh, but you and I were talking off camera a little bit about uh, you're doing a talk later on today about migrating to the cloud. Um, and also, I think more interesting for me is that um, you were one of the founders to this user group. So let's talk about both of these issues. Really interesting. So let's st start off with migrating to the cloud. What are you talking about? So my topic is around aligning your database strategy on Oracle Cloud. So pre predominantly what happens is there are a lot many options what Oracle provides on the cloud. So for any DBA, looking at their infrastructure, what exactly the database is running. So this talk will help to give them the big picture, how to approach what needs to be selected on the Oracle Cloud from a security angle, from a performance angle, manageability angle, all those things will be covered in the topic. So what... Um what what types of what are the, like you know so what have, so out of all the issues you just mentioned what are the you know, top you know, top you know, two or three things that are the most serious things that you need to consider? So when you talk about uh, a DBA migrating to the cloud, he has to think global. When I say it's a big picture, because one has to look at the network, one has to look at the security, one has to look at the applications, downtime, high availability, all those things matters. After that, then you talk about what version, version to version, how we are migrating into the cloud, what needs to be taken care. Plus, there are a lot many options Oracle provides on DBCS, starting with VM and bare metal, then the XSCS, then comes the autonomous database. So how the entire holistic migration strategy, one has to talk about what tooling, for example, uh, the zero downtime migration, JDM is the tool Oracle is providing free of cost for you to migrate from on-premise to the cloud with a minimal downtime. So those are some of the things one DBA has to know because I believe that a DBA has to learn a little bit of security, a little bit of network, a little bit of uh, cloud to make to be called as a cloud DBA. And that's where, the, the gone are the do, days where people are like, okay, I'm a DBA, I only focus on one thing. I'm a network administrator, will take care of something. Storage administrator takes care of some things. So with the cloud, what is happening is people have to break their barriers and then learn and it should be a cloud DBA or a cloud admin. People have to get into the new roles, and that's where this, uh, the success for the existing skill set will be on the cloud. So in terms of migrating to the cloud, oftentimes, um, and previously, I've, I've heard a lot of, there's a lot of apprehension about this, right? But at this conference, I'm hearing, less, I'm hearing that less and less. The people, more and more people are basically moving, essentially, and there's less apprehension. Is that just because the tools are better or the skills are better? So definitely the cloud ad adoption is increased from the last uh, maybe a decade when uh, our competitors have started, but we have been very strong now. But the only thing here is why it is increasing is because of availability of the local regions being announced by Oracle. So because most of the data residency issues when you see, people don't want to keep their data away from their country. So that's where this, like we had recently started the Mumbai region and where the the customers in India, we wanted to migrate to the cloud now because they have a local region within their country boundary limits. So that's one thing. Plus, the, there were apprehensions about on the security side of it and all those things. Now, with the knowledge spreading across, with the customers who are successful migrating, and the CIOs have an objective to get their cloud strategy right. So that's where all these things are helping them to adopt the cloud, and that's where we see that um, it has increased a lot. Interesting. Okay, so um, let's switch gears a little bit here and talk about community. Um, you told me earlier, actually we exchanged email earlier, and you said that you were one of the original founders of this group. So let's talk some history here. How did this group happen? So I started my career in 1999, and when I excelled in my career, I got a lot of knowledge from the user groups in West, which is US, like NYVOUG, IOUG, and then UKVOUG, they were very popular. Then we used to download some PPTs or listen to those videos that time, and I learned a lot of it. So I got an idea saying that in India, being a vast technology or a country, why don't we start a user group in India? So I approached Oracle saying that I wanted to start a user group, let me know the process about it. Same time, uh, we had our one of our founders 
Murli Wallath, he also wrote an email to Oracle saying that I, he's also planning. He, he, that time he was in US, but he wants to come to India and then start something, the all in uh, user group. So Oracle has connected us both. Then we said, oh, it's good. It's, it's a teamwork. It's not an individual effort. It's a teamwork. So let us bring people together. Then we found the like minded people. Sai joined us. We have two, many people joined us, but all along the journey, uh, uh, it, 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 it's a great. Uh, the only mo uh, motive behind all of us to start this is serve the Oracle community within the or India from a user's point of view. But other thing also, uh, so we started All India Oracle Users Group. The name uh, Murli and myself and Sai and all thought we should have a name which is a big across the India. So that's where we said All India so that we are not losing the focus. We are getting a stronger team in place putting everything otherwise if you're saying a city wise it will dilute itself well that's also a very that's also a very bold statement i mean i'm i'm an american so i can imagine i'm going to start the all the united states user group okay, I, have, I have a point to that but so. it's just very interesting there this is one user group but there are chapters right yep. and so I, I will tell about that yeah and, and so but it's like usually you get like a user group from a city or a local region and they're not necessarily connected to the all the other cities in a given country so how did you guys you know be, you guys basically architected this thing from the very beginning yes. so what our concept is that time it is very new and we need a passion to do it for the uh, serving the community and we have chosen a top-down approach rather than the bottom-up approach. So we said, let us start All India User Group. And we registered in Bangalore because that time uh, we, we registered as a society in Bangalore. So when we did this, uh, five of us formed a chap uh, the board of directors. Murli was the founder president. I became the founder vice president. And Sai has become uh, the director of uh, events. So the director of marketing, we took people and all. So when we started doing it, how do, what is our way of spreading this? And Oracle has helped a lot from the beginning. And um, initially, we don't have the uh, halls and all. So we used to bank on Oracle's conference centers and create some things. So first thing we said, we will have a two-hour evening programs where we get the speakers and um, organize a small show. Then we said, we have, let us do a tech day events and across the cities across. Then we said, why don't you have a conference called Sangam, which is a bigger conference. And Sangam, actually, uh, the, the name behind, the thought process behind Sangam is, there is something called a Triveni Sangam in our um, a very uh, holy, holy place where three rivers meet there. Three what? Three rivers. Oh, rivers. OK. So then we said, OK, Sangam is our name, which is local. And meeting of the minds is our tagline. Wow. And that's where we said, we debated, and we had a a two days conference concept and we've been doing it from the 2007 onwards till now very um, uh, thankfully and then after a couple of years we said let us because all five of us in the board are working for this Sangam and all then we said if you want to grow and do more events and serve the community let us have the local chapter started and that's where the concept the top-down approach which I was mentioning about then we started Bangalore chapter Hyderabad chapter Chennai chapter and then we have local evangelists taking care of the local chapters and we from the board we travel and help them out so it is basically a complete uh, 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 i can say supply chain to start this entire process and then we multiplied and then it helped a lot with this vision because when you talk about sangam it's not the five people there is a 25 or a 30 people army of people coming and volunteering we have seen how people are doing this and that helped us to have the common uh, motive or the the the, the entire ground rules to be circulated across the across India and uh, uh, we have grown almost like now we have uh, many chapters spanning from North India to the South India and multiple cities wherever the IT is flourishing so that's the uh, story behind but it, it, it's it's um People don't, if you don't travel here, you don't realize the, the scale of this place. I mean, yes, it's a big group, but it's a gigantic country, and the amount of potential here for this group to grow is still very, very large. I mean, one of the things, Oracle has this ACE program, right? I think there's 25 ACEs here. There's like 400 or so ACEs around the world. There's only 25 in this country. I mean, so, so there's I'm a... The, uh, Oracle ACE director. 
I was because after joining Oracle, you have to let go that. So I'm an ace director, Almune. Sai uh, is also an ace director, and then Murli also was an ace director. So what we did is like we have promoted that. That program has helped us a lot in promoting user groups where their support is phenomenal. The OTN uh, earlier, the OTN we used to the Oracle Technology Network. They have helped us a lot in giving us the backbone, giving us the opportunities and all. And then many speakers from here have gone into risen to the ACES and ACE directors. So it's basically our thought is to create a platform and uh, cre uh, give it to the users and make them visible. On, on the same time, many people from India can't travel to open world. So we need that open world speakers to be here and that's where OTN helped us a lot to get the ACE directors from US. Oracle has helped us a lot in getting the VPs and EVPs coming here as a keynote and talking. Oracle India also was helping us a lot where the India MD was like a couple of uh, three to four Sangams. He was the keynote uh, uh, speaker, the Indian MD, the managing director. Now the people have changed. So those are some of the things, uh, the ecosystem. We have tuned ourselves to the ecosystem and then uh, did a great job. And then this community has helped us a lot, the OTN, and they have been sponsoring us. And this has helped a lot for us to grow the things. Well, it's, it's been, it's a heck of a story. It's a heck of a story of when you come here um, and you experience the organization, you know, the, all, the, all the volunteers, it's a real community spirit. And you can tell, you can tell when you're at this event that it's run by the community. I mean, we all go to a lot of conferences around the world. A lot of them are corporate conferences, right? And that has a certain feel, certain, a certain flavor. Uh, but a community event has a completely different, completely different feel to it. Um, the main motive behind that is we want to keep our cost low for the end users who are paying from their pocket. So what we did is like the first Sangam, we went to the event management and they have sent a huge bill of like $20,000. I said, oh, we just started, we don't have money. Then we realized that let us do on our own rather than feeding somebody. And that's where the entire uh, thing started. And uh, thanks to Sai being the backbone for the entire things, right from the website, the speaker coordination, even though he has played multiple roles within but he has been the backbone for it and then thanks to him for carrying forward the vision what we all of us as a founders had and taking forward excellent so we're almost uh, yeah, as i said we're into uh, into day two here how's the event gone for you it's good it's it's good uh, because um, earlier it's all uh, each event is a learning for us so we had this motivation speakers on the second day last many people used to miss it but um, a size innovative idea is to have the motivation speakers in the keynote session because everybody is united, nobody, just they are fresh. So that's went on very well. So we need to continue to doing that going forward for this kind of But one request is basically the participation has to increase because we are a nonprofit organization. We don't have a marketing budget or whatever. It's a word of mouth spread, which has to be. And there are a lot many, as you initially said, this can grow bigger because the amount of uh, technology people they are here. But again, I request all the top four companies in the India to send their people to us because it's a value they're going to get. Because I believe in the fact that with this technologies are changing, we have we should be having a different mindset, which is learn it all mindset than a know it all mindset. That is a key of that. And these conferences will help the users to learn more and be readily available for the future technologies coming. Well, you've done a great job. Congratulations. And um, thanks for coming by. Appreciate it. And we'll see you for the rest of the day here. We're going to have lunch and then some tea. Um, and then we'll see you guys back here for some more conversations uh, from Hyderabad. See you later. Bye-bye.